some other engagements that I had, um, being a book author of Dun Bosco Press, a Payak certifier, and a speaker. Which is why some of my generous, supportive, and loving friends would say about my accomplishments that I am successful. But just like the tip of the iceberg, what I have so far I'm, are minute parts of who I am. Beneath the success are frustrations, disappointments, failures, and even rejections that I have received in my life. I am sure that at your own right, you are also successful. Many of you can relate with me. Yung success stories natin, nakapaloob doon yung mga struggles natin sa umpisa. As I go along, I will share to you my failures. But for sure, you are more interested dun sa what happened? What did I do? How did I thrive? A big part of this has something to do with the topic which I would like to share with you. The power of growth mindset. Before that, can I ask you to do something? First, I'd like you um, to think of one thing you've always been good at. Saan po ba kayo magaling? Saan ka po magaling? Ano po yung talent mo? Ano yung intelligence mo? I'd like you to think about that. Alam ko, madali mo lang pong naisip yun dahil that should come naturally to you. Next is, one thing you'll never be good at. Meron po ba? Yung iniisip mo na hindi mo matututunan at hindi ka kailanman gagaling. I want you to write this down, okay? I do not know how to, ano po yun? Or I am not good in, you complete it, okay? So write it down. Ano po yung isang bagay na alam mong hindi mo matututunan at hindi ka mag improve at hindi ka gagaling. At mamaya, babalikan natin yan. Next is, one thing you weren't good at but became good at over time. Katulad po nung driving skills mo. Di po ba naaalala mo dati, namamatayan ka pa ng makina. Binubusinahan ka nung nasa likuran mo. Kasi mas kilanggam, hindi mo kayang i-overtake. Pero ngayon, magaling ka na, expert ka na, red light na nga, tinutuloy mo pa. So what's this one thing na hindi ka magaling, ngayon magaling ka na. Can I ask you a question? Who among you here is intelligent? Can you please raise your hand? Intelligent, kaway-kaway po. Dahil magaling ka, so this, find the value of X. Naalala ko tuloy yung isang studyante umiiyak at humahagulgol. I ask, bakit ka umiiyak, iha? Sabi niya, Sir, ako po na nga ang niloko. Ako pa ba ang maghahanap ng value ng ex? Oy, yung hindi nag-smile, hindi nag-react, um, affected. Going back, there are two orientations. Yung iba nagtaas ng kamay, nung tinanong ko, if you are intelligent, yung iba naman po hindi. Sa mga hindi nagtaas ng kamay, sa mo view, might believe that you are not intelligent kasi hindi ka honor student, kasi you're not good in math, you're not good in English, kaya feeling mo hindi ka matalino. But meron din naman po sa atin, tumaas ng kamay. Even if they cannot solve the limits of X, they still believe that they are intelligent because there is more to solving math problems anyway. Some of us po kasi might belong to yesterday's theory. Ano yon? That we are born with intelligence. Noon, it's either matalino ka or hindi. Period. Minsan, may parent nagtanong, Sir, matalino yung anak ko nung preschool. Puro yan with honors. Bakit ngayong high school, bagsak siya sa subject mo? 
maybe iniisip nila na once na matalino yung bata, matalino hanggang sa pagtanda. Noong nabubuhay pa po ang lolo ko, si Alfred Binet, he developed the IQ test as predictor for um, academic success. Sa lugar po kasi namin, sa Paris, a lot would like to go to the city from the province. So para po hindi masayang yung oras at pera, they thought of giving the students the IQ test. Yung mabababa will be discouraged from studying. I guess this was later on adapted in U.S. military schools to test their military recruits. Actually, mas kida naman po tayo ngayon, di ba? We make use of aptitude test, we make use of IQ test in screening our student applicants. Kaya pag hindi mataas sa test, minsan hindi ka tatanggapin. Yesterday's theory po, no matter how much you learn or how hard you work, your intelligence stays the same. Pero po, ngayon, hindi na ganyan. Today's theory is different. It's not what you are born with that matters. Eh ano? It's your mindset that matters. Pag-usapan po natin, ano po ba itong mindset na ito? Mindset is a mental attitude. It's a belief that determines your outlook in life. Paniniwala mo ito about your abilities, about your intelligence. For sure, you've heard this line. Nung nagpaulan ang Diyos ng talento, natutulog ako, kaya hindi ako naambunan. Parang social amelioration program lang. Wala ka sa listahan. Wala tayo sa listahan. Or yung linyang, parehong kaliwa ang pa ako. Hindi na magbabago to. But to another person, kahit singtunado siya, go pa din siya. Dahil magiging singer din naman daw siya. Niniwala siya na yung intelligence niya po pwedeng mag-grow, po pwedeng mag-develop. Can I ask you, what is your mindset? What do you prefer? Do you prefer success or do you prefer challenge? Do you feel smart when you are learning or you feel smart when you are flawless? Pag hindi ka nagkakamali, doon ka mas matalino. Are you not afraid of failing or you fear failure? Takot ka ba o hindi takot sa pagkakamali? Do you love to be praised for your talents? Or do you love to be praised for your efforts? Anong mas gusto mo? Hinopo na yung effort mo, yung hard work mo, o yung talent mo. Are you born with it? Or can you develop it? O yung tinatawag natin, are you born smart? Or can you become smart? May two mindsets po tayo. Yung isa po, this is me, carved in stone, it will not change. Eto na ako, forever. Pero yung isa naman po, I can still grow and develop my intelligence. Eto po yung tinatawag po natin na growth and fixed mindsets. Let's first discuss and talk about fixed mindset. Fixed mindset. Intelligence is static. Kung magaling ako, magaling ako. Kung hindi, hindi. Hindi na yun magbabago. It will not change. The desire of fixed mindset is to look smart. To them, image is everything. Hindi pwedeng pumalpak kasi mapapahiya at masisira ang magandang imahe. Ayaw mabawasan ang pogi points. Kaya, calculated lahat ng galaw. They avoid challenges. 
they choose and engage only in stuffs they're good at. They don't want to try other things as they are scared their deficiencies can be unmasked. Baka makita yung kahinaan nila. Minsan may mga boss, no? Pag niyaya mong kumanta o sumayaw, ayaw nila. Minsan ako yun. Uh, kasi nga, baka mawala yung respeto ng mga teachers o ng mga subordinates mo. Kasi nga, hindi yun yung best mo. Eh. So they try to avoid challenges. And because they are not used to challenges, they give up easily when faced with obstacles. They are not resilient. Nahihirapan silang mag-bounce back. They are not used to obstacles at hindi sanay mapahiya at magkamali. Efforts to them are fruitless. I heard a boy named Donald. Sabi niya sa teacher niya, Sir, muntik na kaming manalo kanina. Close game. Sabi nung teacher niya, Iho, ang laro, win or lose lang. Walang muntik sa standing. Wala daw pong A for effort. They don't value effort. Results lang ang mahalaga. They ignore criticisms and corrections. Ikaw po ba yung teacher na pag nag-post conference, galit ka pag may negative comments from your boss? Tapos, pabulong mo pang sinasabi sa boss mo, dami mong alam. Don't ignore criticisms and corrections. Lastly, they are threatened by the success of others Laging may competition, laging may kailangang manalo, at sila dapat yun. Just like this picture, winners focus on winning, losers focus on winners. Ikaw, saan ka nakatingin? Sa finish line o sa kalaban mo? Winner ka ba o loser? Let's now talk about growth mindset. In growth mindset, intelligence can be developed. Kanina po kasi, intelligence is static. Ito ngayon, it can be developed. Kung kanina po, desire to look smart, ito po, desire to learn. So what if I look stupid or awkward as long as I learn? Sabi nga ni Susan Roses, Huwag mahihiyang magtanong at magpaturo. Kung isipin ko pong nakakahiyang magtanong sa teacher ko dahil vice principal ako, eh hindi ko sana natutunan maglink sa Google Drive. Salamat sa computer teacher namin, si Miss J. Anbides. Tinuruan niya po ako. A few days ago, I asked Dr. Fides, Dr. Fides, paano mag-stream yard? Ano po ba yung stream yard na yan? Ang alam ko lang kasi, backyard, dahil sa ECQ. Ito po, mas nakakahiya. Nag-PM po ako dun sa isang speaker. Sinakita ko, nung nag-talk siya, full screen yung presentation niya. So, pinim ko siya. Sabi ko, sir, nagandaan po ako sa talk niyo, pati sa presentation niyo. Pwede niyo po bang ituro sa akin bakit po full screen yung presentation niyo? Paano niyo po ginawa? Salamat kay Dr. Gime for sharing to me, for accommodating me. I seem to be dumb for a few minutes. Pero ngayon, alam ko nang gamitin ng StreamYard at ilink ang presentation sa Google Drive. Pero you see, Sila rin may growth mindset kasi they are generous in sharing their knowledge. Hindi kasi nila inisip na gusto ko ako lang ang magaling, bahala kang mapahiya o bahala kang magkamali dyan. Kaya salamat Dr. Fides, salamat Dr. Gimi, and salamat Miss J. Ann. Another thing about 
growth mindset, they embrace challenges. They grab every opportunity that they can get. Most of the things that I am proud of today, my so-called um, accomplishments, are challenges I embraced. Ang tanong sa akin sa interview, do you think you can be the vice principal? I said, yes, I will try my best. Can you be the paasko overall chair? I said, yes, I will work on it. Can you join our full of authors? Yes, I will learn about it. Do you want to be a certifier? Yes, I would like to be trained. Dati po, I would usually give talks sa school lang po namin. And first time, si Dr. Pearl Sotomayor invited me. Sabi niya, Yuli, do you like to give a talk outside the school? Sa Ateneo de Manila University. Sa harapan ng 450 teachers. Of course, I said yes. Just a few weeks ago, pwede kang mag-lightning talk sa Lumina, sabi ni Dr. Fides. Kahit hindi ko pa alam yung webinar, yes, I accepted. You know, I accepted all this not because I am competent, not because magaling ako eh. It's not that. I accepted it because I know that in accepting it, it would help me grow and improve my skills and my intelligence. And sa pag-accept ko, other windows of, of opportunities opened. Yung Ateneo, naging Batangas, naging Nueva Biscaya, naging Cebu. Malay mo, pagkatapos nito sa Facebook, imbitahan ako ng ABS-CBN pag nagbukas na sila. Why not? I embrace challenges. Growth mindset people persist in the face of setbacks. They can overcome obstacles. Babangon at babangon ang mga ito. Ano mang pait ang dinaranas mo? May ngiting sa salubong sa iyo. Babangon tayo. Susulong tayo. Tayo pang mga Pilipino, kayang-kaya natin to. Ikaw, kailan ka huling bumangon? Efforts matter a lot. It's not so much the result. It's the effort you put into. When I started a football team in our school, I know they will not win. We are just starting, of course. So I don't try to compete with our opponents. We compete with ourselves. I set personal standards. I look, I look at our little improvements, yung observing rules, ilan ang hindi na hinahawakan ang bola, dahil football nga po, eh, no? hindi sila sanay. Ilan ang hindi na now offside. Minsan po, talo kami, 10-0. But I told my players, good job. Masayang-masaya ako, nagulat sila. And then I told them, kasi last game, 15-0 tayo eh. Merong effort, may little improvement. I should celebrate that. I should count efforts. Learn from comments and feedback. Be thankful more to criticisms than praises. Why? Because criticisms make you grow. Ayun ang nagpapa-improve, ayun ang nagpapabago sa atin. Especially if we take it positively and we act on it. Find lessons and inspiration in the success of others. Our opponents should be our friends, not competitors. Because they will serve as our mentors. Paano ka tinalo? Ano ang ginagawa nila na hindi mo pa ginagawa? Ano pa ang kailangan mong i-improve para maging kagaya ka nila? 
So nagiging mentor natin sila. Nagiging standard natin sila. Who are the persons you look up to? May mga lodi ka ba? Sino itong mga ito? And most importantly, you learn from them. You imitate them. Imitate their good examples. Don't always focus on not making any mistake. Kasi alam naman po natin na we will really make mistake. But instead, focus on trying hard and giving your best. It is fixed mindset din po when your only goal is to finish ahead of others na dapat ikaw yung una. And again, dapat perfect. What you need to give emphasis is you focus on trying hard and giving your best. You work on your long-term goals and persevere. This is what we call grit. Perseverance over long-term plans, over long-term goals. Now, what's the big deal about a fixed mindset? Fixed mindset results in thinking a false sense of superiority undermined by a deep sense of self-doubt. They just appear to be knowledgeable on the outside, but deep inside, they are full of inferiorities and doubts. A fear of failure and a refusal to take risk and a feeling that failure permanently defines you as a loser. Actually, sabi ni Brother Bo Sanchez, failure is just an event. It should not become your identity. It should not define who we are, who you are. It's just a failure. Pagkakataon lang ito. Event lang ito. And the need to prove yourself again and again. That's very difficult. Why? Because we get our worth from what others will say. That's the problem. While I take feedback and comments, I rely heavily on how I prepared. Pwedeng may magsabi later on pag nireview ko yung mga comments nyo, boring nung speaker. Or usual lang yung mga sinasabi niya at narinig ko na yun. I will not dwell so much on it kasi it will just affect me. I will dwell on what I know. I will dwell kung alam ko naman kung naghanda ako o hindi. I know my preparations, I know my hard work, and I will get yung worth ko doon sa pagkakaalam ko sa sarili ko and not on the comments of other people. Fixed mindset thinking results in a belief that only untalented, ungifted people have to work for success. So, yung mga hindi lang daw po magagaling ang kinakailangang mag-practice. Alam ko po, yung mga speakers, yung mga nagbibigay ng webinars, they practice. Alam niyo po ako, ilang beses ko na pong shiner itong growth mindset. Siguro po may 15 talks na. Pero hanggang ngayon, uh, bago po mag-155, nag re pa rin po ako, nagpa-practice po ako. Because it should be improvement always. A need for validation and reassurance um, in labels, whether earned or not. So, kinakailangan po makarinig pa muna tayo ng uh, magagandang bagay to motivate, to, to boost us. And a desire to blame others or outside circumstances. That's fixed mindset. In growth mindset, it's a thing the, it's a result wherein there is love for learning and self-improvement, a desire to be challenged, a willingness to work for positive results, and the ability to learn from mistakes. So to summarize po, in fixed mindset, ang gusto niya po is to prove myself. Sa growth mindset, improve myself. Layo po no, no? Prove myself, improve myself. Sa growth mindset, ang motto niya po is no pain, no gain. Hirap muna and then 
uh, afterwards, you reap what you sow. Pero po sa fixed mindset, no pain, no pain. Ayaw ng challenges, ayaw ng difficulties. Effort ng fixed mindset, don't try too hard. That way, you've got an excuse if things go wrong. So kung hindi po ako mag-e-effort, uh, uh, pag nagpumalpak po ako, sabihin ko, eh, first time ko lang naman yun. Hindi ko naman kasi alam eh, I, have, I would have an excuse. Sa growth mindset po, always try hard. Ayun yung ano niya. That way, uh, more chance to more success. More chances of winning po pagka nag effort And then, um, in criticism, uh, blame myself or to protect my ego, someone else. May kinakailangan pong sisihin. Sa growth mindset, no one to blame. I just want to know how to do it better next time. Ayun po yung um, mahalaga sa kanila. Wala, hindi na kinakailangan manis eh. Ang ano na lang natin is, saan ba ako nagkamali? Saan ako mag improve And then of course, I already explained this to you. Sa success of others, it threatens them sa fixed mindset. But in growth mindset, it inspires them. Some of you might have come across this on YouTube. The famous failures. You can search on this. These famous people experienced failures before reaching their status. Oprah Winfrey wasn't cut for television. Ni daw siya pwede for, for TV. Walt Disney lacked creativity. Wala daw mararating sa buhay si Albert Einstein, sabi nung teacher niya. Si Michael Jordan did not make it to the varsity team. Tanggal. It is just a proof that talents did not come natural to them. They honed it. They practiced it. They developed it. They had growth mindset. We learn from this famous people that despite the obstacles at the start, they rise to the occasion at mas nagsipag sila. Huwag na po tayong lumayo. Yours truly is a person who experienced failure a lot. My grade school classmates would never imagine me finishing high school, more so college. But here I am, modesty aside, I'm about to get my doctorate degree. I had so many failures. I got a grade of 69 sa science. Wala pa yatang transfer, transformation table, no, transmutation table. Um, dami ko pong line of seven. Um, pangarap ko na nga po yung makakuha po ako ng line of eight noon. Naalala ko, pagka nagkaka-line of eight po ako, nagpapa-undox ang mama ko. Ngayon po, pag may line of eight ang bata, galit ang parents kasi dapat line of nine lahat eh. Ngayon, hindi na po ako nakakakuha ng line of eight. Mas mataas na po doon. You want to know why? Mayroon po kasi akong mga magulang na hindi tumingin sa grades ko. Basta mag-enjoy lang daw po ako at basta ibigay ko lang ang best ko sa pat na yon. Yan po si Papa Jun ko at si Mama Flor. May mga kapatid ako, si Ate Lynn and Nice, na nandyan lang to support. Di namin kinakailangan magkumparahan sa isa't isa kung sino ang magaling. At isang napakalaking bagay sa buhay ko, may mga teachers ako na may growth mindset. This I felt very much in the seminary. My solution for mentors, Father Rene Lagaya, Father Chito Di Maranan, Father Piwi Lasatin, Father Ruel Soto, Father Ariel Makatangay, Father Molina, Father Joel Kamaya, and so many other solutions. Hanga po ako sa kanilang lahat. They believed in me and pushed me. My colleagues and mentors in SSI, si Dr. Perla Sotomayor, si Sir Daniel Castillo, si Dr. Judith Aldaba, 
sila ni Swinky at saka sila Sir Dan, gave me opportunity to prove myself. My professor in DLSUD equipped me. Yan, sila Dr. Pesteta Montano, my dissertation advisor, si Dr. Mar, Dr. Camarce, Dr. Crudo, and many others. What I'm saying is, it's important to have teachers who have growth mindset. Pero po, before we can teach our students growth mindset, we must have growth mindset first. Teachers, baka nasa fixed mindset po tayo kanina. Inamaan po ba tayo doon? O mas marami po nasa growth mindset? Dahil mindset po ito, madali naman natin pong baguhin eh. Minsan, sa may mga pagkakataon na nasa fixed mindset tayo, ang mahalaga lang po doon is na-identify natin. And try changing that mindset. Try changing that belief na, oops, fixed mindset ito. Dapat nandito ako sa growth mindset. Ikaw ba yung um, you acknowledge uh, your own mistakes? Ikaw ba yung teacher na who seek new knowledge and opportunities? Do you set high expectations with your students? And do you see setbacks to improve yourself? Ginagamit mo ba yung failures mo para baguhin ka nito? I'd like to you to look at the research. Pupils with growth mindset academically outperform their fixed mindset peers. Educators' mindset influence pupils' mindset. A growth mindset in educators results in higher performance of their pupils. Having growth mindset teaching in the classroom boosted the results of lower ability pupils. And this last, dropout students learned more when they were taught by a teacher with growth mindset. So makikita niyo po dito, no? Ang laki ng role ng teacher na may growth mindset. Messages children can hear which can hinder their learning and mindset. Wag po natin sanang sasabihin, you learn that so quickly. You're so clever. O sabihin nyo, no? Yung mga estudyante ko, bilis na kuha yung lesson. Why? The problem there is, if I don't learn something quickly, I'm not clever. So magmamadali yan at kinakailangan matutunan nila ng mabilis. You are brilliant. You got an A without studying. O may mga uh, magulang, no? Alam ko, nanonood yung mother-in-law ko, si Mama Bibian, si Lola Bibian. Hindi yung maganda yung proud tayo dahil kasi yung bata, um, mataas ang naku kahit hindi nag-aral. Kasi nga po, ang isipin ng bata, I better stop studying or they won't think I am brilliant. Now, I'd like that I share to you the A, B, C, D, E, F, G of growth mindset. Hanggang Z po nga sana ito eh. But because of time constraints, hanggang G lang po muna tayo. Let's um, learn letter A. Letter A is A, acknowledge effort more than anything else. Suppose you gave an exam. Kanino ka po masaya? Sa result ng matalino mong student na kakuha ng 17 over 20 na hindi nag-aaral kasi matalino naman daw siya. O dun sa struggling student mo na naka 10 over 20 but really exerted efforts to study. You have to give value to effort. As Dr. Carol Dweck, she is the proponent po ng pinag-aaralan natin na growth mindset, said... The most helpful comment you can make to your child when they accomplish a task is one that recognizes their effort over their achievement. So we really have to give value to effort. Instead of displaying only finish student work, post work in progress so students can see how work evolves with effort and feedback. Most of the time po, di ba? We showcase the best out, output or best um, product. Why not show yung work in progress? Minsan po kasi may mga students hindi nakaka-best output. 
kasi hindi sila na motivate along the process. So this is to highlight effort. We can also show yung mga work in progress. Letter B, be specific with praise. Don't just say, very good. Tell them, ano yung very good? I like the combination of colors in your drawing. Ah, yun pala yung very good. So at least you're specific. Praise should be sparing, specific, and sincere. Naging teacher mo na din po ba si Sir Excellent? Alam mo po yung may magandang sagot? Excellent. May okay na sagot? Excellent. May hindi masyadong okay na sagot? Excellent. May tinanong siya na bata? What can you say about this? I don't know, sir. Excellent. Lahat excellent. Dapat po, pag excellent, excellent talaga. Pag hindi naman need sabihin, then don't say it. Kasi, I know praise is a good motivator, but we have to use it sparingly. We don't want to raise praise junkies students. Alam niyo po yung laging naghahanap ng praise na hindi masaya pag hindi po sila napupuri. So, use is praise sparingly. Next, praise must be specific in three ways po. Ang galing mo naman, ano yung magaling? Because that's a general praise. Ang galing na naisip mo muna, i-analyze yung problem bago mo inisip yung solution. That's a specific praise. You're a talented drummer. That's a person praise. Pero kung sasabihin mo, gusto ko yung paglagay mo ng color sa pagtugtog mo. Yung minsan mahina, minsan malakas, yung parang may kwento, yung pagtugtog mo, that's a process praise. You're the best player sa team nyo. That's comparison. Paano po kung pinakamagaling yung player na nasa mahinang team? Alimbawa po, star player ng Kia. E ilipat mo yun sa San Miguel Beer o sa um, Hinebra. Baka po, bench player nila, yung star player na yon Because that's a comparison praise. Why not? Very good kasi may dalawa kang assist ngayong game na to. Dati kasi, 50 points ka, zero assist. At least ngayon, may dalawang assist ka. That's a personal mastery praise. Don't just give a praise because you'd like to um, please students. Okay? Um, ikaw sana yung panalo eh. Kaso, luto yung referee. Bias yung judge. Your students know if they performed well or not. You don't need to lie to them. You don't need to praise them just to make them feel good. You have to be sincere with your praise. Praise their willingness to try. Praise their effort and patience. Ito, ito po ang pinakamalaga, praise their practice. Kasi po, minsan, ayun yung hindi natin ginagawa eh. Um, wala tayo dun sa practice. Karamihan sa atin, gusto natin, nag-show up na lang tayo sa performance. Pero yung improvements nangyayari po sa practice. Doon tayo mas kailangan ng anak natin. Doon tayo mas kailangan ng estudyante natin. Huwag nating baliwalain yung practice. Letter C. Catch them being persistent. Acknowledge and notice their efforts and hard work. As I said, doon yan sa practice nangyayari. Letter D. Have daily learning discussion. Conversation. Infuse growth mindset conversations. Alam ko po may mga parents dito, hindi lang po teachers. Minsan po nakita ko yung ninang ko, si ninang Susan Crotasio. Ah, hindi po siya teacher pero umaattend ng mga webinars at alam ko nandito din po siya ngayon. Um, instead of asking, how was your day? Why not 
ask your child or your student, what did you learn today? Or maybe you could ask, what mistake did you make that taught you something new? Pag sinasabi niyo po kasi yun, what mistake did I make? Ay, okay lang pala sa akin na magkamali. Naiintindihan pala ni mami o ni daddy na minsan nagkakamali ako. Eh, yun yung ibinibigay niyo kasing um, uh, meaning dun sa bata when you ask that. What did you have to work um, hard at today? Okay, ano yung pinaghirapan uh, mo ngayon? Or instead of saying, pag kami nagkakamali po, no? Why did you do that? Pag ginawa mo yun, tapos na yun eh. Instead, why not say, what did you learn? O ngayon, anong natutunan mo sa pagkakamali mong yan? Hindi ho ba mas mahalaga ito? So let's have daily learning discussion of growth mindset. Letter E, elephant mindset. Ever wonder why that big elephant is still tied to a small rope? When they were younger po kasi, they were tied to it. Kinalakihan nila thinking na hindi nila kayang makaalis doon. Baka po nakatali din ang mga students natin. Baka nakatali pa din ang mga anak natin. That instead of being free to explore, they are being limited by a rope. They might be doing the same things over and over again. Lagi na lang po silang nasa comfort zone. Push them and challenge them to their limits. Make them leap from their comfort zone to the courage zone. Because learning happens not in the comfort zone, but it happens in the courage zone. Letter F, failure is not the opposite of success. It is part of success. Failing does not mean not succeeding. Failing means growing and improving. And failure is our greatest teacher. Marami po tayong matututunan sa failure. Kung nga po sigurong um, may interaction ito, I might have asked you, ano yung greatest realization nyo dun sa pagkakamali nyo? Minsan, mas dito po tayo natututo eh. When we fail, and then when we bounce back, grabe po. Di po ba, katulad ng isang bola, no? The harder you fall, the higher you bounce back. Ayun po minsan yung ginagawa ng failure pagka namamaximize po natin. Sana po, no, hindi na natin sinasabi yung I am not failing because ang sinasabi sana natin is I am learning. Okay? Ayun po yung hindi na po, wala po yung failure na sana sa vocabulary natin. Learning po yan. After all, failure means first attempt in learning. So we should not fear failure. And it's okay to make mistakes. Alam nyo po, ang ganda po yan no, na ituro natin sa bahay, ituro natin sa skwelahan, na children, anak, okay lang magkamali kayo ha, naiintindihan namin. Bakit? Eh kasi nga po bata sila eh. Yung mga students po natin, Kaya nga po sila learners, di ba? Because they are learning. So don't expect them to know everything. Don't expect them na okay na sila, ayos na sila. Kasi nga po, we are still honing them. We are still um, teaching them. So talaga pong uh, magtsatsaga po tayo sa pagturo sa kanila. Kasi if they are not learners, if they are not learning, Pwede sana po hindi po sila nandun sa loob ng classroom. Sana po katulad niyo po silang teacher na nagtuturo na. So, allow them to make mistakes. Letter G is give honest feedback. Don't try to please your students 
by denying them the truth. Don't aspire to be popular by not correcting them. Hindi natin kailangang magpasikat na parang mga artista. Alam ko po, mukha po kayong artista. But our role is not to be famous. Our role is to be an educator. We need to correct and to educate. Kahit po minsan, medyo unpopular yung decision natin because we need to educate them, we need to discipline them. Let's choose that over being popular, over being famous. Let me go back to the A, B, C, D, E, F, G of growth mindset. Acknowledge effort. Be specific with praise. Catch their persistence. Have daily discussion by using growth mindset languages. Have elephant mindset. Failure is our greatest teacher. And then last, give honest feedback. Some takeaway lessons. Si Dr. Dweck shared in one school in Chicago, if students did not get a passing mark, they do not write fail. Pagka daw po na hindi nakakuha ng passing mark, hindi po nila sinusulat na fail. They write not yet. This is what we call the power of yet. Use the word yet, my dear teachers. When you hear your teacher, you did not pass the exam. May period. Parang wala na, tapos na. Pero pag sinabing, you did not pass the exam yet. Ah, parang may kama. There seems to be a learning curve, a path into the future. Even in our own language, di po ba? Iba yung hindi sa hindi pa. Hindi kita mahal. Wala na. Pero pag sinabi niyang hindi pa kita mahal, wow, may forever pa. Kanina may mga bagay kang sinabing you will never be good at. Rephrase that. Ano po yun? I am not good in cooking. Dagdagan mo po ng yet. Or I am not yet good in Using technology. Okay, so always po, no? Yung mga um, hindi pa natin nagagawa, uh, yung mga hindi pa natin natututunan, huwag po natin lalagyan ng period. Lagyan po natin siya ng salitang yet. Kasi ibig sabihin po dito is may pagkakataon pa na matuto ka. May pagkakataon pa na mag-improve ka. May pagkakataon pa na mas maging expert ka sa bagay na ito. Fast learning is not always the deepest and best learning and that students who learn longer sometimes understand things at a deep, deeper level. Huwag po tayo masyadong nagmamadali minsan na uh, para po tayong nagkikipagunahan o parang piling po ba natin magaling tayo dahil nakukuha agad ng mga bata. Dapat po Hindi fast learning. Dapat po yung deeper learning ang maituro natin sa mga bata. The expert in anything was once a beginner. Kilala nyo po itong dalawang lalaki na ito. Uh, ito pong uh, walang shirt. Siya po si Michael Phelps. Yung bata po si Joseph Schooling. Fan po siya ni Michael Phelps. Idol niya si Michael Phelps sa swimming. Pero po nung 2016, ay na po silang dalawa, si Schooling beats Phelps for the gold at 2016 Summer Olympics. Yung fan po, naging idol na ngayon ni Michael Phelps. Kanya naman po kasi, di ba? Um, sa umpisa, hindi ka talaga ganun kagaling. Pero eventually, kung pag mo, if you will put effort, if you will have growth mindset, you will be expert one day. 
don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid not to try. Especially now as educators, we are being challenged. We need to teach online and we need to learn online applications. We need to make modules. Some might need to explore learning management systems or mahirap yata yung DepEd Commons. Don't be afraid. Be not afraid to try. Okay, keep trying. If you always do what you always did, you will always get what you always got. Learn something new each day. Ayan po sana yung maging goal nyo. Pero bago po ang lahat, can you please give yourself a pat on the back? Hindi nyo naman po, good job, congratulations for attending this webinar, for spending time to learn. Karamihan po, natutulog, nagpapahinga, nagni-Netflix, pero ikaw, nagpapakadalubhasa. So always learn something new each day. To sum it up, a growth mindset means that you believe intelligence can be developed, hindi fixed, and you have a passion to learn. Yung may kagustuhan kang matuto, mag-improve, which means you embrace challenge. You learn from criticisms. You keep going when things get tough and you're inspired by the greatness of others and you see effort as the path to mastery. Yan po ang kinakailangan natin na isang guru. Yung gurong may growth mindset. And Dr. Carol Dweck said, if teachers want to give their students a gift, or sa mga magulang sa inyo, if parents would want to give your children a gift, the best thing that you can do, that we can do, is to teach them to love challenges, be intrigued by mistakes, enjoy effort, and keep on learning. That's my wish for all of you. Have growth mindset, love challenges, accept mistakes, but learn from it. You enjoy and you value effort and you always keep on learning just like what you are doing now. With that, thank you for listening, for spending time. And to God, we give all the glory. God bless us all. Keep safe.